Let's have a session on quantitative and qualitative data. We'll start with quantitative data. So quantitative data, think quantity, it's almost in the name. And it's all about data that's expressed in numbers. Examples of that could be sales figures, government reports, or surveys with opinions if they're using the Likert scale. The Likert scale being strongly agree, agree, neutral, disagree, strongly disagree, because you convert that into numbers. You could convert that into numbers, that is. Now the pros of Quantitative data. It's easier to gather, it's quicker to gather, it's faster to analyse, you can examine larger samples, and also you can do statistical analysis. You could do averages, you could do standard deviation on this data, because it's in numbers. And the key thing is, it's easier to make decisions from. Now, the cons of using quantitative data, it tends to have a narrow or closed question focus. And so for that reason, it's focusing on the who, the what, the when, not the why and the how. And because it's not focused on the why and the how, it's unhelpful if you want to understand the issue in depth. The other type of data is qualitative data. Now qualitative data, because it's expressed often in words. Um, types of Ways that you could do qualitative data is through interviews, focus groups, or observations. Now the advantages, the pros of doing this would be, although you can get some more analysis on it because you can look at it in depth when you're looking at it in words format. You saw the data, it creates it in depth because you can focus now on that how and that why as well as that who, what, and when. So therefore you can understand the issue in depth. But the thing to notice and the con about qualitative data is that it's slower to gather, it's difficult to analyse that data, and it's harder to make the business decisions from because there's lots of it and you're not really sure how to interpret it. I hope that helps and I'll see you at the next sesh.